We get a little bit of nuclear physics in this problem. I have a uranium nucleus spontaneously decaying through the alpha decay process. So it shoots out an alpha particle. We're told that the mass of that is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. And it leaves over a thorium-231 nucleus, and we're told the mass of that is 3.8 times 10 to the negative 25th kilograms. And we know the energy of the decay, so E is 7.5 times 10 to the negative 13 joules. OK, so our strategy on this to find the recoil speed of the thorium nucleus is to use conservation of momentum. In my initial state, P initial is equal to zero. In the final state, my net momentum must still be equal to zero. So when you have this kind of symmetry, you don't need to be real formal about the momentum analysis. I'm just going to say this, the amount of momentum pointing this way has to be equal to the amount of momentum pointing that way. So in other words, I'm comparing magnitudes of momenta. I have m alpha v1 final equals m thorium v2 final. And I get my first important equation. The second thing I want to do is write down an energy equation. And I'm just going to use this symbol E for the energy until the very end. My second equation tells us that the total energy of the decay is equal to the sum of the kinetic energies of these two particles. So m alpha v1 final squared plus a 1 half m thorium v2 final squared. OK, and this is just a system of two equations and two unknowns. And what we're trying to solve for in this problem is v2 final, the speed of the thorium nucleus. So what I'm going to do is take the first equation and solve for v1 final. And then I'm going to sub that into the energy equation and replace my V1 final and there's a couple things that I can factor out here I think I'm going to go ahead and move over to the left where there's a little more room and I'm going to factor out a V2 final squared and that leaves me with from the first term so I, I got the one half out and I got the V2 final squared out in this term I had an M thorium squared over M alpha squared but one of those M alphas, alphas cancels so I end up with M thorium squared over M alpha in the second term, I have an M thorium. So it looks like I could factor out one factor of the thorium mass, and I end up with 1 half V2 final squared mass of the thorium nucleus times M thorium over M alpha plus 1. OK, I think it's time to solve for V2 final. So V2 final squared is going to be 2E. Just multiply it by that 2. Divided by mass of the thorium times mass of the thorium over mass of the alpha particle plus 1. And I'm trying to think of ways to clean this up a little bit. I suppose that I could multiply the numerator and denominator by m alpha. I get 2e m alpha over m thorium. And when I distribute the m alpha into the parentheses, I get m thorium plus m alpha. So that has a little better symmetry to it. Finally, I'm going to solve for v2 final. And it's the square root of all this stuff. And then I can plug in the numbers and get an actual number on the speed. And 
And when I'm done crunching the numbers, I end up with 2.60 times 10 to the fifth meters per second.